Hey guys, today we will go through the exercise number two. Hope you have already found the exercise number one and have completed. Now let's see what is the question in exercise number two. So the question comes here. Reverse a string. Write a function. We have to write a function or define a function which will reverse a string that takes a string as input and returns the reverse of a string. For example, if the input is let's say hello world, then it is exactly going to print the opposite or the reverse of that string. So here our focus is what? Reverse a string. Okay. Or else we can take a simple example. Let's say I am providing an input 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. It should print the output just reverse by 9, 8, 7, 6. We can see the output. So how this function can be designed, we are going to see in this exercise. So let's get started. All right. So to reverse a string, one must know about how slicing works. So how slicing works, you know, for example, if you have a variable A, so the slicing has a simple syntax. So first you provide a stat index, then you put a colon, then you provide what a stop index where to stop then you can also there is an optional thing that is called step how many steps you want to take so let's say i want to stick one step so here you can provide a step number so this is how the slicing works so let's see one simple example let's take a variable a equals to i'm going to write 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and i'm going to make it as a string so i'll put a double quote so that you don't have to count the index number if i write hello world then the first h will be zeroth index so you don't have to count all that so it will be easy to take a number set of numbers starting from 0 1 2 3 so that it becomes easy because the indexes of any word will always start from zero the index will start from zero for example what would happen if i am going to say print within parenthesis i am going to say a and inside the parenthesis i will use two square brackets i will start the index let's say i'm going to start from the first index start index is first i'll use a colon mark then i'll provide the stop index let's say the stop index is let's say seven okay i'll put a colon mark and i'm going to provide the step as one so what would be the output of this that means I am saying, hey, you start from the first index and then go until 7. The stop is 7. You should stop at 7. That means it should print from here to here. The last stop will not be printed. Okay. And step is 1. So it is going to print everything. 1, 1 step. So let's see the output first. Okay. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 got printed. Okay. This we have understood. Now, let's say I'm not going to provide anything over here. I'm not going to provide anything over here. I'm going to erase that. If you erase it, that means it is always going to start from zero. So let's see the output. So you can see it has started from zero and stopped at this one. Now, what would happen if I'm going to erase this one, even seven? I'm going to erase it, save it and let me run it. So what would happen? It is going to print everything because I have not mentioned anything. It is taking one one step and printing 0 till 9. Now what would happen if I am going to change this 1 to minus 1? What I am doing? I am changing this 1 to minus 1. So let's see this. So what happened? It has reversed the entire string. So you got the clue. Now we have to write a function, right? What we are, they, they have asked, you have to write a function. So how to write a function? We have to write a function. So how to write a function first of all, okay? So let's understand this. So this one is fine. Let me erase it. So to write a function, you will use the keyword called def, define, right? DEF. And here I am going to use a function name called, uh, let's say we can give a complete name, reverse string, something like that okay reverse string is the function name i'm going to create and this function is going to accept one argument or one parameter so i'm going to say a as the parameter okay and put a colon mark enter 
Now here in the reverse string, what I will simply do is I will use the function called return. So what to return? You return the reverse of it. So I told you how to return a reverse. So simply I am saying a and within square bracket I am using, I am not putting any start, I am not putting any stop, I am simply writing minus 1. So this will, you just saw it, it is going to reverse the input. Okay. So I have written the, we have defined the function. So how to, how to call that function? It is quite simple. Here I will first take an input from the user. So I will say input and I am saying enter anything to reverse, enter anything to reverse and I will convert this entire thing to string. So that if he is entering 1, 2, 3, 4 also, it will convert entire thing to string. Okay, done. So once I do this, then what I will do, how do I call the function? It is quite simple. All I will say a is equals to, I will take the name of the function. Ensure the spelling, uh, you know, it is case sensitive, right? Python is case sensitive. So we are writing everything properly or the best thing is you can copy it. Okay, so instead of A, because people might get confused, I am saying B, okay, B, okay, reverse string and here I am passing, what the value I am passing the variable B, so let us write C here, so that you do not con get confused, so here we are taking the input and here we are passing that input, so this will call this function, so this V value will go to this A and A will do the job and it will return the output and the return output will come to C and I am going to print C just to for simplification so I'm saying print within parenthesis I'm saying C okay so let's see how it is working f5 so enter anything to reverse so let me okay I'm entering some values so is it doing so what what about if I type my name let's see if it can reverse it or not so f5 Okay, I am typing Rakesh. Okay, you can see HC, HC car. <laughs> okay, so it has, you know, reversed this string. So you got how this works. So for all such interesting contents, do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Please do subscribe. We are going to learn a lot of things in the upcoming playlist. Thank you. We are going to meet once again in our next content. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.